block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I don't pay, yeah, I don't took a ride in the L, L, come on, man, yeah, I don't took a hold down, where to kill me. What was it, what was you just all about, like, real instruments, like, after that, like, say, I want to, I want to be. Real I want to play yeah, with a yeah. band or what? What was? Yeah, I was a I was a musician, you know, before I started um, going going on the computer with it. Um, I was part of the band in middle school um, <laughs> and in high school. What band you was part of? Uh, I was in uh, the Big D band at Townview. So, okay, Big D yeah. band at, at Townview. Yeah, shout out shout to Townview. Out. Yeah, shout out Townview. <laughs> Mr. Hill, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. my instructor, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out Mr. Hill. That's a legend, man. Yeah, he, man. He, he done touched a lot of kids out here. You know yep. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he done showed a lot of kids the way, and that's a great school too to go to as well. Yep. All right, so how did the band thing go? Uh, right there. I mean, it, it was it was a learning experience. I learned a lot. Um, we got a lot of uh insight on. You know, just taking it more to to a new new level, um, mm -hmm. especially with Mr. Hill. He's, he was all about discipline and um, consistency. Right. You know what I mean. So if it's, it's something that you really wanted, like you really got to work towards <clears throat> improving. You right. know what I mean. And so, what, so what was the, some of the things, the major things he taught you that stuck with you? Uh, I think it was just you know, like I said, the discipline um, and. And really wanting it, you know what I mean? Like, like in uh, that movie uh, Drumline, mm -hmm. when that dude he was like trying to battle that other guy to get a better spot right. in the Drumline. That's, that's how it was. That's like how it, it was, was very competitive, you know, because everybody wanted to be the best, you know, in the band. Have you ever did the Drumline scene? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> do you think you can do the Drumline scene? Uh, if I practice, maybe. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I'm about to say I'll meet you out there. I know you've been. I know you know how to play drums. <laughs> I put you to the test. <laughs> anyway, no. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Then drop that stick on you. Clap. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but so like, what what groups was you a part of? What did y'all groups ever you know tour? Did y'all ever go do locally? Uh, Are you perform? talking about like my family? No, your or, band. Like, did oh, you have a band? Uh, no, no, no. I, I I've always been either just, part you just of just play a, in a band. Yeah, okay. I, I just play in the school band. All right, but you never um, ever made a band. N well. I was a DJ um, around the same time I was in high school. That's when I first started really like picking up uh, a lot in in music, and, and I took uh, took the chance to or took the risk in in becoming a DJ. And so I started going to like different house parties and doing like weddings and quinceañeras and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, them so, quinceañeras, man. They, I be man. I, I'm glad you brought up quinceañeras because the quinceañeras, man, ain't a quinceañera. That's that's a grown folks party. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much liquor be at a Kinsey oh, yeah. yeah, we turned up. <laughs> yeah, we turned up. Live drinking. <laughs> every, every even at even at uh, any any party really like it could be a baptism. It could be a kid's three year old party. We always like just well, at a baptism. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, man, we get turned. We get turned. Golly, man, that's I'm letting yeah, you know. Shout out to other party animals. Yeah, let me know what the next party is, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get turned, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't care, I'm be all up in there. And, hey, man, it's going down, you know what I'm saying? So Kids in the bounce house, we're you know over what here saying? drinking. The bounce house drinking and everything. I'll be like, shoot, <laughs> cops come. I'm like, I don't know who kids those is. <laughs> I make my kids. <laughs> that boy shoot look like you. I said, no, he don't, officer. <laughs> Not at all. So, all right, so. Who, what was the influence in DJing then? Cause like now you got so many. If you got the music influence, the DJ inf DJ influence, like who was influenced you to even become a DJ? Uh, really, it was like or the lack of resources. <clears throat> it was it was just the family members around me. It was a, mm. I had a cousin who was a DJ before I was, right. and then I had an uncle, um, who was also a DJ, and so I would just like see them do their thing, and I I was inspired, and and I wanted right. to like really get into the performance side of things. Right. I mean, I was in the band and like. You know, I I made I made music at home and stuff, but I felt like I had to take it outside of the house and right. you know go go um public with it. You know what I mean? Right. And, and start doing doing. And I I also saw it as a way to make some extra money. You know what I mean? You know, DJing. You know, I was getting paid pretty good for fifteen year olds, charging like five hundred to a thousand dollars a party. Damn. Mm-hmm. You still do now? 
<laughs> I, I do, I do. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's good. Shoot, mm -hmm. nah, I'll keep it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I haven't done any private parties lately. So oh. if y'all need a DJ, hit me up. Okay, um, yeah. But I've been mostly in the clubs lately. You okay. know what I mean? So I've been DJing. But, you know, clubs don't really pay a lot for, for DJs. Yeah, unless you're, like, known. Right. So. Yeah, but I heard you downtown DJing. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah, out, Club Dada. Yep. Out, yeah, out there in Deep Ellum. Yeah. Uh, OTR. Uh, where else? Elm Street Saloon. I've been to La Toxica. I've been to Bad Habits over there in uh, Oak Cliff. Uh, Hardy's Lounge. Okay. You know, I've just been all over the place. Okay. Yep. All right. Get making a name. Yeah, making a name for yep. yourself. <clears throat> so, what DJs besides your uncle and stuff that you learned your style or your technique from? Yeah, I was just practicing. You just, just practicing yourself. Yeah. Nobody watching. Nobody. Yep. YouTube so, videos. <laughs> what? So you want to you want to listen to no DJ Screw? You want to listen to you know like yeah I would listen to DJ Premieres, all those. No, yeah, okay. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of everything. Just picking up um, what I heard, um, like you know what I've seen other people do. So I just kind of take take what they do, try to rep replicate. Right, you know what right. I mean? So what, mu what music you grew up listening to? Um, I grew up listening to a lot of uh, a lot of hip hop. Um. Spanish music, Latin music, um, really a little bit of everything. Right. Um, you know, R and B, techno, right. Right. Um, dubstep. What you gravitate to? Uh, gravitate to the most? Man, I love it all, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, like like when I DJ, I, I do Latin nights sometimes, or I'll do like um, hip hop nights, or I'm really trying to get into like the EDM right now. Okay. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, you say that EDM, that's that's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. I, I see, because they, they really be fucked up. Oh, yeah, they be nah, partying. No, nah, they fucked up when it's 4-4 to the flow. <laughs> you know, when you 4-4 to the flow, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? All you do, 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 do. <laughs> it's like damn, it's like the motherfucker ain't stopping. The motherfucker get in there, motherfucker just out of there. I'll be like, what? Music's addictive, man. I don't know what it is, man. It's man, the frequencies, the same, man. It is, but so you said it's 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 more popular out there in Florida, huh? Than it is out here, like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, uh, I came back from Miami. I went out there. And I checked out the scene, and they they do a lot of like uh, house music, EDM music in the clubs more so than than over here. Right. I feel like. Um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of seen what it was like, and I came back with with that um, in mind to try to like you know bring more EDM to the city. Man, man that's fucked up. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, that's some good gunpowder right there. Man, man Cruz did on <laughs> Cruz don't even know he just got them. He, he he had a loss right now. Yeah, you know he good. don't want to smoke. Good, man. You know say nobody smoke with me and nothing on the podcast. You know, but it's all right because it's uh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, nigga? You know what I'm saying? It's more for me, goddamn me. You know what I'm saying? We go, you know what I'm saying? We go cheap, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Under you, goddamn you, me, you, you understand it. me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, let me turn you on to the, some of that original clip. Goddamn me, you understand yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? That stiff shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <I'm talking> about... <laughs> <laughs> no, funny. so, all right, so, so now, like, what is, what is it like in the club being in there and, Finding what music makes everybody hype because, like you say, you got Latin night, you got hip hop night, you got this night. Like, what nights are the crunkest, and how do you tell? And what music do you know is the music you need to keep in your playlist at all times? You know what I'm saying? Um, and how hard it is? I'm talking about. I got three part questions. I'm sorry, probably nah, four part yeah. question. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry because I'm I'm intrigued. Nah, I'm listening. Yeah, you know, and like, how do you you know? slip in new music to even make them say okay yeah I'm, I'm i'm fucking with this man i think it's just a matter of getting to, into the uh people's mindset into the crowd's you know mindset and trying to get into that mode and and really like just peeping energy just peeping you know what what the people want you know what i mean looking around at the room and see if people are vibing if they're not switch it up um but for the most part you know just play what's hot play the hits you know um listen to a lot of radio listen to people's personal playlist listen to you know other djs um i just pick pick up game from a little bit of everywhere so i, I utilize what that what took you motherfucker so long we were stuck in traffic i could have walked the way i wanted to go man i love you shit i fucked up my high give me a light a light if you go to paradise you better take a cab 
That's some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where you get that shit from, mom? I got it from Columbia, motherfucker. <laughs>